Uh, I want to be rich. That's the point of everything, right? I want to have so much money so that uh, I could buy all the tickets to a Maroon 5 concert, <laughs> go by myself, and boo after every song. Yeah. <laughs> This joke always splits the crowd, but those guys suck. I would stand <laughs> front and center, so when they came out, they'd be like, I guess there is a mistake, and I'd be like, no, this is happening. <laughs> it was a sold-out show, Adam. <laughs> hey, stage dive. <laughs> I want to listen to Maroon 4. Maybe I'm selfish. But the most selfish thing a person can do is leave an empty shopping cart in a parking space. You're telling me you can meander three and a half miles inside Costco pushing that thing no problem. The moment you get to your vehicle, you're like, not another step. posted a version of that joke online a year ago, and ever since then, I've been monitoring the online comments, which is great for your soul. <laughs> but there's really only two negative things that come up. The first one, from angry parents who saw the joke and had to type in, well, I can't return the cart. I put my kids in the car. I don't want to abandon them. Here's the answer to that. How'd you get the cart in the first place? Just do that backwards. I... <laughs> I'm a parent too, there's no rule that said you have to buckle your baby in yet. Yeah, okay, just put the food in the car, and then take your kids with you to return it and teach them how not to be you. The second group. <laughs> the other comment comes from old men who say, well, if I start returning the car, then the kid whose job it is will lose his job. <laughs> That's why you do that? Do you also mysteriously murder people to keep detectives employed? <laughs> Thanks for the help. I hate buying milk. You ever go to the store, all you need is milk so you don't grab a cart or a basket, you just grab the milk, and then it becomes a test of physical endurance? <laughs> it's heavy, it's cold. If there are any milk designers <laughs> in the crowd tonight, I just wanna let you know, you're not impressing anyone. We don't need milk in the handle. Who is that for? Nothing, nothing else comes that way. Nobody asks for food in the grabby part. You ever get to the line, if you have to wait for more than like three or four people, you end up putting it on the ground. You have to like scoot it forward with the line. And they don't sell milk the way they sell other stuff, okay? You grab a bag of marshmallows off the shelf, all the other marshmallows don't come at you. Milk, one of the heaviest things in the store, they sell on a ramp that's aimed at your face. <laughs> I pull one gallon off, seven others slam forward, it's 2%, you wanted non-fat, but you can't put it back. <laughs> I discover that you push those other milks hard enough, they disappear. <laughs> it's weird that we love Costco so much. I mean, aesthetically, it's pretty grim. You walk and it's just concrete floors and chain link fences inside like we're all back in juvie. I do. I did buy a lawnmower from Costco. And that is the great thing about Costco, right? If you ever just need like chips and a jacuzzi. I got a lawnmower, but I noticed the throttle on it, the speeds aren't labeled with the words fast or slow. Instead, there's a picture of a rabbit and a turtle, which is crazy. Because that means every lawnmower factory, they're just shipping them out like, yeah, we don't care if anyone can read, just as long as they know all their fables. <laughs> That's the important thing, what? And by the way, Aesop is exclusive to lawnmowers. You don't see fairy tale pictures stamped on any other machine. Can you imagine that guy with the leaf blower is like, I'm gonna crank this up to Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> I 
And for anyone who's mowed a lawn, who uses the turtle setting? <laughs> Why does that exist? Who gets up at 7 a.m. on a Saturday going, you know what, I want this to take extra long. Yeah. <laughs> Just want those blades to lightly slap at the grass, you know? I'm afraid of spiders and it's dangerous. Like, I don't know what my body's gonna do. I was driving down the 405 uh, in Los Angeles, one of the widest freeways in America, 18 lanes, nine on each side. I was in the fast lane and a spider, a hairy one, that matters. <laughs> came out from behind the sun visor and right back again. Yeah, so I went across all the lanes. <laughs> like I didn't change lanes, I drove sideways. So you, have you ever played Frogger? Like, you get to that point where you just hit the button down and hope it works out. That's what I did, and I was fine. I mean, I don't know what happened <clears throat> behind me, but I made it to the shoulder, hopped out, slammed the visor down, spider wasn't there, so I called AAA. <laughs> this is a real story. It's a service they provide. They don't know it, you just have to do it right. When he got there, he's like, what was the problem? And I was like, there's smoke coming from like the dash, so if you could just check all the crevices. Oh. 